Hello, this is the parent guide on how to use Show My Homework. Uh, the system will be used for setting work while the school is under lockdown. Um, so if we look at the website, first of all, you need to go on, it's satchel1.com forward slash login. Now, this is the parent guide, so this is uh, what you will see when you log in. So you log in as a parent, okay? And you then do search school, and it might be, say, Brookhouse College. So you start typing in this box, Brookhouse College, and it comes up here. Um, however, I'm just going to use a demonstration account, which is an account uh, set up um, by the people who actually run uh, show, show My Homework, so that, uh, so that it can be demonstrated in a way that doesn't make a mess of everything else. So I've selected parent and uh, my uh, my my username here is going to be parent demo. Obviously, you will receive uh, your username and password. Uh, you'll you'll receive a username and password um, from, uh, via email from me. You have to excuse my being a little bit stammery. I'm not good at doing two things at once. So this is going to be the parent demo. <clears throat> and so this would be the um, this would be what you would see as a parent as soon as you go straight in. Now you can download the homework, um, the Show My Homework app on your mobile phone if you want, and that make life a lot easier for you in terms of seeing seeing what your students are set. What is very, very important here, we've got two students, Zubia Khan and Stan Acton. Imagine you've got two students at home. Um, what the, the person you would have, um, the, you, you would have to have them both in the same account. So you can see what they're set. Most important part is the homework. That's the bit that we're really gonna use. We're not gonna use very much else on this system at this time. Why? Because we need to get it up and running as, as quickly as possible. So if I click on homework, so I can then see what the students have been set for homework. So for example, something that was uh, done and handed in some time ago on the animal kingdom, that gives me lots of information, um, tells you when, when it was set and who it was set for, um, and it tells you how long the homework is. Okay, so you can actually see what the homework was and you can see what, what the, um, um, what, what what grade is actually set as part of that? So you can also you can also see straight away um, whether or not they've whether or not the student has actually submitted their homework back. So you can see you can check whether or not they're actually doing the work that they should be doing. And this means obviously when you're talking to your children over the telephone, you can see if the homework's been submitted or not. So class, so for example, if you want to see. Uh, what the work is, if you want to say a type of lettuce test. Um, the teacher sent, sent a web link in there that you can always have a look at yourself if you want to. And you can see how they did and you can see what, uh, um, they, you, you can see exactly what the, uh, uh, what, what the teacher said. So that's the basic idea behind it. You can actually, what it does is it allows you to, sh to show Sorry, to see exactly what was set. You can also filter to show if there's, say, any overdue homework. They can have a look. Well, okay, this this uh, this particular student's not been very good. They've been missing homework. There's quite a lot not submitted. Maybe they need a, a little bit of a word had with them. And that's basically it. At the end, all you have to do at the end is log out, and that's the parent um, the parent access to um, to show my homework. Uh, if you have any further questions, please do email me, um, but uh, hopefully this uh, video will at least allow you to, uh, to see the basics.